Okay. Yes. Yuck. What's that? Yuck. Dirt. Ah. I've oh, been, ew. I've been pulling weeds. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I killed them like five weeks ago. And, oh. and so they turned into giant brown spots in the middle of all my gray white rocks. Oh. And so then I found out I don't actually have to pull these. They're already completely dead. Right. I can just kind of stomp on them and they'll explode. And then I just grind them in with my feet and they're fine. But oh. I've got a second batch coming up underneath all of them, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, no. I'll move the pole. Okay. We left off with um you guys uh traveling northwards into the continent of the icy north here. Yeah. Um yeah. looking for a portal that is here, according to your map from Master Sargul, um, right. you guys followed the bear up to the North Pole, and um, the pole turned out to be this gigantic tower thing. Uh, yeah. That is mostly buried in ice, so we have to hike down to it. Yep. Um. And yeah, you guys found some uh, sled dog trail that led down uh, one of the deep uh, crevasses there, mm -hmm. and to a a kind of a doorway into this uh, into this structure cell. Uh, you guys made camp, and um. In the middle of the night, the sled dog team left again. Yeah. And... Um... That's where we are right now. Okay. So... Oh, I see your foot... <laughs> cute footprints. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, um... Alright. So I imagine in the morning we'll all wake up and I will... Oh, 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 yes. oh. Um, do you guys want to keep watch over the night? Ah, uh, sure. Sure. Okay. Who takes the first watch? Let's... Let's have... Um, Let's have Grabnot take the first watch, just because I feel All like right. making fun of him. Mr. Grabnot, will he be alert to D6? Yep. Okay, does he see anything? D6. Uh, okay, um, yeah, Glabnot is not going to report anything of importance, um, happening. A few little creatures, um, hopped by, according to him, but okay. nothing, nothing important. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, second watch? Uh, we will let Agatha take that. All uh, right. Okay, she keeps a sufficient watch. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, nope, she doesn't see anything either. And you, Bertok. Right. I think a watch is plus wisdom. Yes. Yes, it is. Wisdom plus one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so money. 
Alright, Bartok, um, in the starlight and moonlight of the, of the night, um, you will see something start to creep down the, um, down the walls of the little crack where you guys are camping out. Okay. Um, heading towards your camp. Hmm. <clears throat> I will attempt to get up and wake the others. Uh, yep, since you're keeping a good watch, you can do that. Um, and I will whisper that yeah, something is coming down. Um, ready yourselves. He pulls his <laughs> flail from his belt. There yeah. is a fuzzy white spider creeping down um, and it leaps onto the cook grab not no vertok okay vertok will immediate well as as immediately as he can swing his um, flail sideways and try to catch the spider and bash it off the cook Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Roll, uh, push your strength for that. Like hack and slash. Alright, it hits. Roll for dim. One minute. What kind of what kind of plus damage do I have? I forgot. Um yeah, you have I think one D eight plus one D four. I have plus one damage already, just as a standard hook some okay. spikes on my flail. Plus, I have the Merciless, which gives me one more 1d4. Cut. So I have 1d10 plus 1d4 plus 1. Die! Alright. The spider will give a shriek as your flail crunches into its uh, abdomen. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll fall down to the, to the uh, floor of the um, the little crack where you guys are staying. Um, it will leap up and um, before you recover yourself for a talk, it will leap onto you and bite you with its long, cold fangs. Ah. Doing five damage. That's minus your armor, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of armor. <laughs> I do. I've got at least three. Yeah. So I will bring myself down to twenty-two. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, spider. Okay. Um. The cook will um find its frying pan and bring it down <laughs> onto the spider. Ah, uh, doing one damage to the spider. Okay. Uh, and Agatha will attack the spider too. Yay. Yay. Okay, she hits. And she does four damage to the spider. Alright, so the spider is bleeding from multiple wounds now. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of sees this as a losing opportunity 
and we'll try to scurry back up the wall where it uh, came from. Yeah. Can I attempt to hit it one more time? Yeah, but I can try to hit it uh, one more time. Actually, no. Let's make this a... Um, what the heck is that kid doing? Uh, let's make this a... Interfere. I'm going to... I'm going to interfere with the spider and try to um, keep it from escaping. I'm going to hinder the spider. Okay. I have no bonds cool. with it, obviously, so I can't. Right. But I'm going to basic moves. I'm going to look again. Uh, Ten plus, they take one plus one or minus two. Seven to nine, I expose myself to retribution, danger, or cost. So, minus two to escape if I win this. All right. Two D six. Die. Oh, he get he got away. <laughs> yeah, the, the my, spider screws up. Yeah, and my and my little my little hobbit hands can't seem to grab onto the ice icy walls. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the spider does manage to slip away. Okay. And it disappears from your view in the twilight. Alright. Bertox sinks back against the wall. And, <sighs> well, at least we're not dead, he says offhandedly to the cook. No, to Agatha. He's a womanizer, I forgot. At least we're not dead, he says, fluttering his eyelashes. All right. Uh, morning approaches. Um, the sun rises in the in the far east. You can see the light gleaming through the crystalline structure. Mm -hmm. um, the North Pole to the east of you guys. Um, very pretty. Question. Yes. We're at the North Pole. There is no east. Uh, oh. Is it winter or summer solstice, and are we in the dark or the light? Because we would assume the sun is traveling around and around the horizon. That is true, yeah. It is actually late summer, starting to get towards fall. Okay, so, so it's possibly dipping below every so often. Yeah, yeah. Or it is below the horizon more than it's above. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so the early morning light uh, makes the tower all sparkle. Um, very dimly, you guys can see that there seems to be like rooms and passageways carved inside of this structure. Okay. Um, or, you know, somehow in there. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> um, Okay, it's morning. You guys can see better now. Um, the sled dog team has disappeared. Um, yes. You guys can do whatever. Wait a second. All right. All right. Um, I am going to suggest that we get up and try this door. Um, head out out of the crevasse and into the passageway and, right. and, and attempt to sneak through this gate where the dogs are. Dogs were. Yes, dogs were. All right. Okay. Um... When you get about to here, mm -hmm. um, Bertok, would you make a 
showing realities. Yes. Wow. Dexterity? Oh. Oh, is that? It doesn't really no. matter. No. That, that, that was a good roll anyway, so. It was, yeah, it would have been 12 if I had wisdom or whatever I'm supposed to be right. using. Okay, great, yeah. Um, Uh, Bartok, you will notice that there are, um, Reddish, blah, 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 reddish cylindrical packages embedded into the wall of the crevasse hmm. right here okay. as the um, as you approach this entrance here. Yeah. Uh, I want to walk up to these and examine them. Saying, mention over mentioning over my shoulder that look at these. Walking up and sort of touching them, maybe. <laughs> um, each one of these packages is a long cylinder wrapped in reddish waxed paper. Um, there's also a reddish uh, waxed paper. Um, trail leading from the packages back into the the opening here. Interesting. Okay. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Um, can I use my discern... No, can I use... No, it's... Uh, can I use my discern realities to ask what in the world these are? You could do a spout lore to see if you know what they are. Okay. Alright, let me try that. <laughs> yeah. Um... In your youth, um... There was a wizard that used to visit um, your village, and he was very fond of fireworks and so forth. Um, and you, being an inquisitive child, um, kind of noticed his packages that he was setting ablaze and they seem to be somewhat similar to these packages here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You said these are wax paper trails? Uh, yes, that lead back. Um, weird. Very weird. Okay. Uh... Well, like I wax know. paper, like strings or... Um, oh, oh, so fuses. <laughs> yeah. If that's, if my guess is correct, and these are uh, pyrotechnics, which I will relay <laughs> to the others and say, ah, oh, these look a little dangerous. I think we ought to kind of hurry into the gateway here. And he will dash forward and kind of run, run in a ways and skid to a halt. Yeah. Good idea. And then look around to see if he can spot anybody that's about to light said fuses. <laughs> yep, this chamber is empty. Um, there is a pile of... Um, there's a few barrels and stuff to the south. Um, and otherwise this chamber is empty except for, um, pinned to the far wall, there's a banner of a 
sun on a white background, um, and a very heavy chest, mm -hmm. and a doorway on the other side of this chamber. Okay. Um. Oh, and um, the 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 gateway that you guys just came through seems to be clawed. It wasn't. Um, it doesn't seem to be part of the natural structure of this fortress. It seems to have been forced through. Oh, I see. Um, I see. There's cracks and uh, like melted marks on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good to know. Um. Well, I'm going to kind of make my way toward these this north wall, and then kind of keeping an eye out as I move. Uh, I want to nudge Wait, along. Pause. Pause. Hmm? Go back. Go back to here. Yeah. Okay. Um. Make one more discern reality, Botok. Sure. I mean, I still do have like th oh, right. three yeah. three holds on this thing, or three yeah, forwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will make another if you want me to. Sure. Since I would say seeing the fireworks is one. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, that's. I know. We we can add one to that. It's another eleven. So. Okay, good. I keep doing nice. dexterity for some stupid reason. All right. Okay, so, um, what kind of question do you want to ask you? Uh, what is here that, uh, doesn't appear to be um, something that is obvious? Like, what is not obvious that I should be seeing that I'm not? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, looking up. Um, you notice that hanging from the ceiling, there's all these objects and barrels and bundles of weapons hanging from the ceiling, um, from ropes that connect to the big heavy chest over here. Oh. Um, and it looks like all of them are kind of rigged to possibly um, fall. At some sort of a trigger. I see. They are connected to the chest, though, right? Correct. Um, is uh, is there any sort of space along the wall that I can kind of dodge them if I were to press f hard enough against the wall? Um, it looks like pretty much everything. From like the barrels forward are covered by something or other. Okay. Barrels forward. Um. Oh. Well, I know what to do. Mm -hmm. I think. I think mm -hmm. that my skill in having watched said wizard in the village is well good enough my memory is good enough that i will s walk over to agatha and whisper the, the 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 treasure chest over there is trapped if we open it everything from the ceiling is going to fall on us and he'll motion up toward the ceiling um, but i have an idea because i really want to see what's in that chest and he um, starts sneaking back out of the cavern and walks up to this first firework and begins chipping at the ice around it to pull it out from the wall. Okay. <laughs> yep, there's, there's a couple tense moments, but you manage to get one of the, uh, one of the cylinders out. Yeah. Yep. And grabbing this cylinder, I walk back into the cavern, staying well behind this barrel area. And um, I will 
drop my flail 